for today's video, we will be applying the different theorems, postulates, and concepts that we've learned from the past lessons. And we will answer questions regarding circles. In circle O, measurement of arc AB is given, which is 120 degrees, and measurement of arc BC is equal to 150 degrees. Find the measures of the following angles. So we need to find measurements of angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle BDC, and measurement of angle ADC. So this is the figure. So you have circle O. Okay, and the placement of angles are the following. Okay, so we always have to start with a given. So let's write here first what we know. Measurement of arc AB is given, which is 120 degrees. We also have the measurement of arc BC, which is 150 degrees. Now, to start with, what we will do is um, we will use the given and find the measurements of other arcs or angles that we have here. So, if you will look at the circle we have here arc BAD which is actually a semicircle we also have arc BCD which is also again a semicircle and as what we know about semicircles they measure 180 degrees so we can use the given what we will do is just have to subtract 120 to 180 so therefore arc AD is 60 degrees Let's use arc BC and find measurement of arc BC. So same with the first one, just have to subtract 150 to 180 since arc BCD is a semicircle. So this arc BC is 30 degrees. Now from here, we will be using the measurements of the arcs to find the measurements of the angles. And we will apply now the postulates and theorems that we know. So let's start with arc dc now how are we going to use this arc dc to find the measurement of the other angles okay so you have to really observe the figure and see um, any relation between angles and this given arc so first we can use this arc dc to find the measurement of angle one okay so this is angle 1. If you will relate angle 1 to arc DC, you can see that arc DC is the intercepted arc of angle 1. Okay, And angle 1 is an inscribed angle. So if you want to find the measurement of this angle 1 or an inscribed angle using the arc, what you will do is just get half the measurement of the arc. Okay, So if the arc DC is its intercepted arc and it's 30 degrees, therefore measurement of angle 1 is equal to half of it which is 15 degrees okay so what else if you will again look at the figure you will notice that another angle intercepts the same arc arc DC and that is angle 2 right here okay so this is angle 2 so both angle 1 and angle 2 intercepts the same arc which is arc DC okay and we also have a theorem for this which is theorem 99 that whenever um, inscribed angles intercepts the same arc then that means they have the same measurement so that means measurement of angle 2 is also 15 degrees this arc AD we can use this to find measurements of angles, okay? So like what we did with the first arc, you have to find relationships with angles and arc AD. Okay, so first that I can see here is this one. Angle 6. Angle 6 is a central angle and its intercepted arc is arc AD. So we can use postulate number 22 here or the central angle intercepted arc postulate. So if we have the measurement of the arc, which is 60 degrees, therefore the measurement of angle 6, which is a central angle, is also equal to 60 degrees. 
So we can use this one, arc AB, to find the measurement of angle 4. If you will look closely, angle 4 is an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is arc AB. Okay? So the endpoints of the angles are also the endpoints of the arc. So that means the intercepted arc of angle 4 is arc AB. So using the inscribed angle theorem, if you have the measurement of the arc, and you need to find the measurement of the angle, so you just have to get half of it. So measurement of angle 4 must be half of 120, which is 60 degrees as well. Let's use the other arc, which is arc BC. Okay, let's use this. Now, let's try to find the angle that intercepts this arc BC. So if you will look at the figure, we have this angle BDC, okay? So this is angle BDC, and it intercepts arc BC. We can apply the inscribed angle theorem, and if this BC is 150, therefore, angle BDC is half of it, which is 75 degrees. Let's go back to arc AB, okay? We can find another angle that intercepts this arc AB and that is this angle right here which is angle ADB okay angle ADB intercepts arc AB so by the inscribed angle theorem because angle ADB is an inscribed angle therefore you can find the measurement of this though we don't need to find this here but we will be needing this later on so let's just write it here so measurement of angle ADB is half of arc AB which is 60 degrees now since we have uh, most of the angles we can now find measurement of angle 3 so how are we going to find measurement of angle 3 as you can see angle 3 is here it's not even a central angle nor an inscribed angle so we cannot use the postulates and theorems for that but if you will observe closely this angle 3 is part of a triangle so this one this triangle right here okay and um, as what we know about triangles the sum is equal to 180 degrees sum of the angles but since we already have measurement of angle 2 Okay, this one, which is 15 degrees. We also have the measurement of this angle, angle ADB, which is 60 degrees. Now, we can just simply add the two measurements and subtract it to 180 so that we can get measurement of angle 3. So, to get measurement of angle 3, if we add measurement of angle 2 with measurement of angle ADB, that will be equal to 75 degrees. So, 180 minus 75 degrees therefore measurement of angle 3 is 105 degrees okay now let's try to identify measurement of angle ADC to find measurement of angle ADC so this is angle ADC this angle right here this is angle ADC now there are two ways on how you can find this first as you can see, this is an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is arc ABC. Okay, so you can apply inscribed angle theorem or you can just simply add measurements of angle ADB, this angle, and angle BDC. So, since we have angle ADB, which is 60 degrees, so let's just add so you have 60 degrees plus measurement of angle BDC which is 75 degrees therefore measurement of angle ADC is 135 degrees and lastly we need to find measurement of angle 5 so this angle 5 is this one okay now from this one, 
it's the same case with angle 3. But from here, okay, we only know one angle okay, from the triangle, which is angle BDC. We don't know the measurement of this angle. Okay, so we cannot add and then subtract to 180 because we only know one angle. So what we will do here is we will apply a theorem so that we can identify the measure of this um, angle right here. So how are we going to identify the measure of this? Um, this angle right here is connected with one angle, okay, an inscribed angle, which is angle B, C, D. This whole angle right here. Okay, angle B, C, D. Now, actually, we can look for the angle B, C, D. Okay, so this is an angle inscribed in a semicircle which is semicircle bcd any angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle therefore measurement of angle bcd is equal to 90 degrees so this whole angle measures 90 degrees so the missing angle let's say it's x to get that what we can do is subtract the measurement of angle 4 since we already have it which is 60 to 90 degrees sorry 60 okay therefore the missing angle is 30 degrees so this angle right here this one the one that we're looking for is 30 degrees so therefore, since we already have two angles, we can add it, subtract to 180 to find measurement of angle 5. So to solve for angle 5, um, we have 180, then subtract the sum of the two angles. This one that we find, which is 30 degrees, and then measurement of angle BDC, which is 75 degrees. So 30 plus 75, that is 105. Subtract it to 180, therefore... Angle 5 is 75 degrees. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something and see you next time.